What's up everybody? My name is Edgar Sandoval Jr. Uh, quick rundown. In the span of about four months, accumulated like a mi over a million streams on Spotify in about four months. Been working on a lot of projects. You know, I sing, songwrite, all that good stuff. Do some uh, like travel agency stuff. Team Atlas, always plug. We just travel around the world, go to different locations, um, things of that nature. But yeah, I've been doing music for a while now, for about four years. I've been like songwriting and performing, things like that. And things are looking up. Got uh, new singles on the way, working with some really huge artists, and I'm excited for you guys to be able to see that in the coming months. All right, so Edgar Sandoval Jr. here has been nice enough to grant me with an interview. We're gonna do this pretty nonchalant. We're going to make it quick, but we're gonna try to make it as informative as possible True. so you can learn about Edgar. True. All right, here we go. Hi. My first question for Edgar is, why are you an artist? Why am I an artist? I'm an artist because at 16 years old, I was trying to find my passion. I didn't know what I was passionate about. I was playing soccer at the time, I was into filmmaking, I was into making vlogs, I was into playing my guitar, but I didn't have anything that I was truly passionate about that I felt I could put all my time that made me happy when I woke up in the morning. And I came to find out that the more I started singing to myself and the more I started listening to my favorite artists, the more I realized I had a love for music, the more I realized that I was built to um, have an influence in an industry that is dark that needs like something more uplifting brought to it and so that's the main reason I am doing what I'm doing um, so yeah I just I feel like those are my strengths and I've been able to build my strengths as a musician and that's that's what I'm set to do that's mm -hmm. what I'm gonna be hustling on till I die I like it I like it I, I've taken a few classes with you and I will continue to take a few classes as we graduate <laughs> True. Um, my my next question to you is as a businessman as an entrepreneur yeah. on top of being an artist I, I've seen you do a really good job at collecting people with various talents right. and not just using them to better yourself but using your craft to better their artistic style um, when it comes to recruiting for your team what, what comes to mind um, I look at what I'm weak at and I look at what they're strong at. So in areas that I'm weak, I look for people that are strong in those areas. I look for also in areas that I'm strong, uh, where other, I look for other people with, with uh, things that they're necessarily weak at and you co-collaborate and create a team that works in perfect harmony. You also look for people with similar strengths that you have um, because honestly, like if they can't do what you do, like you gotta vibe. Uh, you have to vibe like that way. I vibe with people that you know work hard, that um, are talented in things that I'm not necessarily good at, and are also talented in things that I am good at. Because not only do I want to grow um, in my weaknesses, but I also want to grow in my strengths too. I think feedback is crucial, and I think I've been learning a lot about how to how to accept feedback from different people, people that are trustworthy, and people that are in the industry that I'm pursuing. Um, I've been over the past like several months I've been working with people from different industries from corporate America to the fashion industry to also the, the music production industry and at the end of the day I'm under the belief that the uh, one of the major factors that plays into any artist making it is who you know and the people that you're surrounding yourself with and I'm trying to only surround myself with people that either better me or better than me and are plugged into the industry um, in whatever way possible. You could be a freaking baker. I don't even care what you are, and I'd want to meet you because yeah. I get hungry. Right, <laughs> and I right. want to know how to make bread. Yeah. Literally. Exactly. <laughs> Edgar, when it comes to growing as an artist, yeah. who do you look to for inspiration? When it comes to growing as an artist, I look at the most successful artists of our time. For example, Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. He is the largest and most successful artist in the entire world um, and will always be that. He's not losing his throne anytime soon. Um, you know, people have recently, I've also looked at other people and why the hype around them is the way it is. Like, um, for example, uh, like Drake, DJ Khaled, Rihanna, Bryson Tiller, all these guys, Chance the Rapper. I'm, try I'm seeing the hype and I'm s working backwards. I'm seeing why they got to the place that they got. kind of analyzing why they're in the position that they're in um, and working backwards from that and then seeing the building blocks and seeing what's unique about them breaking them down and seeing okay 
they structure themselves this way. They work this way. This is why they're popular. They're unique this way. Justin Bieber, oh, got signed at, at a young age, has an incredible voice, is incredibly a talented performance-wise. That's why he's popular. Scooter Braun discovered him. Usher put him on. So deconstructing the people that are actually successful and then using those as the building blocks to build yourself mm. in that sense, in an own unique way, because people don't want a replica of something else that they already have. Right. Okay, on a more lighthearted note, yeah. um, give me five songs that pretty much embody your playlist. Five songs that embody my playlist. Um, I don't necessarily have songs, I just have artists. Mm -hmm. So I listen to a lot of like EDM music because that's popular. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like my songwriting ability is different from everyone else's that I don't try to build like off that in the songwriting sense or in the music sense. I just like mainstream music because mm -hmm. that is what generates revenue. Yeah. And uh, and that's my goal. My, my end goal, success, the definition of success for me is having a song on the Billboard Hot 100. Mm. And I haven't really talked about that um, very much, but um, I'm working on, by the way, I'm working on some side projects where I'm going to be helping. I've been getting a lot of messages from people saying, hey, help me get started. How do I get into the music industry? Um, your music inspires me to make music. How do I get started? So I'm going to be making videos that way and, and tell you guys and just show you guys that my goal is to get a song on the Billboard Hot 100. And I've deconstructed that to like a dot or whatever the word is. Um, and so that's the end goal. But as far as artists and songs that I listen to, I mean, I listen to what's popping. So that new DJ Khaled and, and uh, Bryson Tiller song. Uh, Wild, Wild Thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah, Wild Thoughts. That's such a good song. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That song is so good. That's not necessarily EDM, right. but it's catchy and it gets me dancing. Um, also a huge fan. This song, this song just blew up and it annoys people, but I think it's it annoys people in the most fantastic and brilliant way. Despacito. Oh God. By, by Justin Bieber and Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee. Like, uh, or is it Daddy Yankee? I'm pretty sure it's Daddy Yankee. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. We should Whatever. probably fact check we should probably that. Probably look that in. <laughs> but that song skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. Props to Justin Bieber for actually taking the time to learn music and hit that, or to learn Spanish and hit that Spanish market because that absolutely destroyed. Um, so yeah, Justin Bieber, Bryson Tiller, Rihanna, DJ Khaled's killing it. Um, <laughs> Lil Yachty's killing it right now. Lil Boat! Drake, first guy to hit a billion streams on Spotify. Absolutely insane with one dance. He changed the game with, with inner, incorporating Afrobeat into his music. And just real quick, I hate to interrupt you, no, you're good. but that just reminded me of one thing. Yeah. As an artist who looks at things like that, like the first to hit a billion streams on Spotify, yeah. how do you feel and like does that give you inspiration? Like what, what kind of outlook do you have when you see a situation like Jay-Z's 444? or used one streaming service and went platinum in a week? I think, uh, I think depending on the artist, they can leverage different things. Um, so Jay-Z leveraged that one platform and then did that. I didn't really pay much attention to Jay-Z, but I think that's really interesting, the way he, he is in such a unique position to be able to do whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. um, and I think every artist can place themselves in whatever circumstance they're in, in the place that they're at, at the current time, to uh, be able to leverage different things and do things their way as far as song releases and things like that. When I see someone like Drake who hit a billion streams on, on Spotify and was the first person to hit that, that makes me think that hitting a hundred million streams on Spotify is so tangible. And so that's my outlook on my career, my music. I think a hundred million streams is well on, on its way. Mm. Um, in four months, I've, I've hit a million streams collectively on Spotify. So um, I just think, you know, I, I think I'm really headed there. Like, I'm convinced that's where my mindset, the goal is to get a song Billboard Hot 100. I see a song of mine, a hundred million streams on Spotify. Easy, like no doubts in my brain. I don't care what anybody says about it. Um, I'm convinced, I'm, I'm just convinced and sold out on that thought. Mm. Um, but it kind of gets me mad a little bit. It gets me <laughs> mad because I see trash music too, getting hella hits. And uh, and that's okay. I mean, uh, people love it. White girls just dance to it at the club. And uh, <laughs> True. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. that's my thoughts on that. Nice, nice. Yee. Well, I want to thank Edgar Sandoval Jr. for allowing me to get this interview with him. Great questions, He's a dude. Genuine Those are really guy. great questions. Oh, thank you. I appreciated that. He's a genuine guy, a fantastic artist, has a beautiful voice. Go check him out on all of his social media at Edgar Sandoval Jr. 
he, like he said, he has new music coming soon. Yes. Um, he has, to be honest, this guy has it for one of my top five favorite songs of all time. So. Which one? Which one? Max on. Ma oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, quick comment on that. That's not available in stores anymore. It's okay. not available anywhere. So, sure if you, you weren't around it. during those days, you're gonna be kind of hard pressed to find it. It's but true. it's a fantastic song, oh especially if you know Edgar and where he's coming from. But yeah. yeah. Thanks to Edgar, Edgar Sandoval Bro, Jr. Thank you, Thanks for watching the interview. More to come. Subscribe and right be sure to go check out his music and stay on the journey with him. Peace out, guys. Peace.